Do you know you can find deflection in trusses using a very simple formula? This formula is related to virtual work method. In today's tutorial, I will talk about deflection in trusses and I will solve one problem. This is related to I-Struct certificate in structural behavior or simply if you want to improve your understanding of structural behavior, this tutorial is for you. Let's dive straight into our tutorial. This is a problem which I want to solve today. It is a three member truss. It's got two timber struts, five meters long and 100 by 100 millimeter in cross section. These are two timber struts and they are connected to a steel cable, which is 100 millimeter square area. This is the steel cable. So the first thing that we will be looking for is that the length of two struts is given and length of the cable is not given. They are inclined at 45 degrees. So this angle is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees as well. The modulus of elasticity E is given 200 GPA and the timber modulus of elasticity is given which is 10 GPA. Using any approach, we have to work out displacement of apex downwards. So we have to work out how this truss is going to displace downwards. And there are four options to choose from. What is deflection? Is it 6.9, 9.9, 7.9 or 8.9? If you want to try this video first before watching this video, scan this barcode or go to this URL. The link will be down in description below as well. Pause this video now and try this first. For solving this question, the first thing which I would like is the dimension of steel cable because these dimensions, these are given five meters, five meters. For this, I'll be using Pythagoras theorem. And if I turn it to here, I have value of X. X is the hypotenuse. By using a Pythagoras theorem, which means that uh, under root summation of adjacent square plus opposite square it will give me the length of hypotenuse which is 7.07 .07, and this is the length of a steel cable once i have done this then i will find the deflection using this formula which is a summation of actual load times summation of virtual load l divided by a is area e is young's modulus this is what we call as virtual work method i have a complete lecture on virtual work method i teach level two students at university of east london this is structural analysis i have a complete lecture but i will record this lecture again and then put it somewhere over here at the minute it's not ready so let's move on to the example uh, we have to create the real system and virtual system in real system actual loads are applied and we have the actual lens 5 meter 5 meter and 7.07 .07. this joint was c this is a and this is b and then we will have a virtual system as well virtual system is a system where we apply a unit load at a point where deflection is needed. Here, the deflection is needed at apex or point C, and we will find out deflection over here. Remember that these angles are 45 and 45. Let us construct the virtual system. In virtual system, again, I will have the same geometry, but the load will be one Newton. This joint is A, this is B. This is C, we have 45 degrees, 45 degrees here, and this angle is 90 degree. And the reactions will be half of applied load 0.5 and 0.5 Newtons. So let us use method of joints to work out member forces. At joint A, summation of vertical forces uh, equal to zero. Vertical forces are FAC sine 45 that is going upwards. Upward is positive plus the vertical reaction which is 25 is equal to zero. So FAC sine 45 is 1 over under root 2 
plus 25 is equal to 0. If you bring this on the other side, FAC will be equal to 25 minus 25 into under root 2. If you multiply both, you will get value of FAC minus 35.35. In the same way, by using symmetry, you will have value of FBC as minus 35.35 kilonewton as well. So FBC will be equal to minus 35.35. Then I would say summation of horizontal forces equal to zero at joint A. So horizontal forces will give me F ac cos 45 degrees so i have fac which is here fac cos 45 and i have fab as well which is horizontal for force in itself so both of them are pointing rightwards this is in kilonewton plus fab is equal to zero FAC I've worked out minus 35.35 into cos is 1 over under root 2 plus FAB is equal to 0. If you divide 35.35 by a under root 2 you will get minus 25 so I will say FAB is equal to plus 25 kilonewton. So now I have got forces in all the members. This is 25 kilonewton and here I have 35.35 but negative. Negative indicates that it is compression minus 35. 5.35 kilonewton kilonewton then i will apply the same logic to this virtual system as well in the same way at joint a i will say fac sine 45 is plus the reaction which is 0.5 is equal to zero so fac will be equal to 0.5 5 minus 0.5 times under root 2 so if you multiply this you will get fac as minus 0 0.707 so this is minus 0 0.707 again my initial assumption is that arrows are pointing away from the joint means everything is in tension so if something comes up as negative it means that it is compression so this is in newtons and in the same way fbc will have the same value minus 0.707 newtons and if i say summation of horizontal forces equal to zero then i will say fac cos 45 plus fab is equal to zero in this virtual system fac is minus 0.707 times cos 45 is 1 over under root 2 plus fab i want to find out is equal to zero and if you simplify this you will get value of fab as 0 0.5 newtons so once you have got these values then you can write these values over here here i have minus 0 0.707 and here i have 0.5 so these are the force values once i've got these values i will put them back in this equation summation of p p dash l over a e now here e is given in gigapascals so i will convert this e into newton per millimeter square so gigapascal gpa means that 10 raised 9 newton per meter square so it will be 10 raised 9 newton per millimeter square so thousand square so this will be 10 raised 3 newton per millimeter square e for steel will be equal to 200 times 10 raised 3 newton per millimeter square e for timber will be equal to 10 into 10 raised 3 newton per millimeter square now once i've got all these values i will put them into this equation delta will be equal to p in the actual system let me start with struts so minus 35.35 kilonewton and the load over here is 0 0.707 
minus 35.35 into 10 raise 3 that is p in real system and p in virtual system is minus 0.707 and then length of the system is 5 meters i will convert it into millimeters a is area of a strut area of a strut is 100 by 100 so i will say 10 raise 4 divided by 10 raise 4 e for timber is 10 into 10 raise 3 newton per millimeter square so i will say directly 10 raise 4 now we have two of these members so that's why i will multiply it with two and then i have one member which is steel cable the steel cable has got load in real system as 25 kN. in virtual system it is 0.5 so let's say 25 into 10 raised 3 times 0 0.5 times the length the length of the steel cable we found out earlier it was 7.07 .07 meters so put it over here 7.07 .07 into 10 raised 3 to convert it into millimeters a for steel cable is 100 millimeter square so 200 into 10 raised 3 is e and a is 100 millimeter square when you simplify this entire expression you will get 6.9 millimeter delta is equal to 6.9 millimeter if i go back here option a is the correct answer 6.9 millimeter if you want to watch similar videos on structural behavior go to this url or scan this barcode i have a complete video series on i structure structural behavior if you want to have a look at lecture slides as you solve problems then go to this url or scan this barcode i will be uploading all the lecture slides on this link as well